spring, maybe pushing summer like weather today. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Definitely yeah, feels like summer. We've had a 36 <laughs> degree jump since this morning. Yeah. It was in the 40s and we've made it to the low 80s this afternoon. Birmingham sitting right on 80 with a west wind at 13. Beautiful afternoon. Pollen still way up there, just like it has been the last uh, couple of weeks. It may settle a little bit with some rain coming late this week into the early part of the weekend, but it is springtime after all, and it will come right back. It's 79 at Vincent and Pell City, Aniana up to 81, 79 in Vestavia, 80 at Bessemer, 79 at Lakeview, Summiton and Walker County at 81, at 77 Coleman and Albertville, 79 in Anniston. It is a gorgeous afternoon, and I think tomorrow we're going to add a little bit more warmth to this, and even through Thursday, too. Still a few more degrees to climb before we get knocked backward by a cold front Friday night into Saturday. Tonight, not quite as cold as last night, but still a little bit cool. Very typical of this time of year, though. Sunny weather through Thursday. Clouds start increasing Thursday night. Friday rain could affect some of us as early as Friday morning to midday, but I think the better chance of rain is going to come late Friday through early Saturday. And there's no rain on radar at the moment. Tracking clear air on WVTM 13 Live Doppler out to the west. A lot of rain over Texas and out over the Gulf Coast. See those wind arrows pointed in toward Texas and Louisiana. That area of high pressure moving away from us. It's the one that's made it so cool and dry. And watch what happens. We're setting the stage for some wet weather by pumping up the humidity through Friday. And it is thick humidity over Mississippi. You really won't notice much of a change up until, say, midday or early afternoon Friday here across most of central and east Alabama because the air stays relatively dry. And I think that's why it's going to be a little difficult for some of this rain to get in here before nightfall on Friday. Only a few scattered showers expected before that. Humidity still increasing. We get a little chance of some showers here and there through 10 p.m. Uh, and then into Friday night, early Saturday morning, the front comes through helping to really realize that chance of uh, showers and a few isolated thunderstorms. So yes, some rain is expected, but is a weekend washout? Not at all. In fact, dry air may be able to cut away the rain as early as 10 to 11 a.m. in Birmingham. Uh, it may be a bit later, potentially midday to 1 or 2 o'clock from Talladega, Anniston eastward. Then by 6 o'clock Saturday evening, it's just a cool north breeze blowing through here. Chilly tonight. We'll drop from the 60s into the 50s, and then tomorrow another very nice warm afternoon shaping up for us. The high close to 84 degrees around Birmingham on Wednesday afternoon. Some might even get a little bit warmer than that to, to the west. 84 Tuscaloosa, 84 Demopolis, 86 down toward Montgomery. Lower 80s around Sneed, Gadsden, Anniston, Lineville. Starting in the 50s, getting up into the 80s in the afternoon. A lot of sunshine through Thursday. Showers and thunderstorms expected on Friday. Showers ending on Saturday. And then for the uh, race this weekend at Talladega, low 30 or feeling like the low 30s with the wind early Sunday morning. Uh, and then through the afternoon, we see lots of sunshine, breezy and cool Sunday, chilly Monday morning, and then rebounding again early next week, just like we did this week. Ian and Sherry. All right, Jason, coming up the